So here at the Intersport Elveries FAI Summer School Summer Camps launch with Ireland Women's Pair, Rihanna Jarrett. Rihanna, I suppose, being about here today, lovely day with all the young kids, probably takes you back to your childhood yourself. Yeah, obviously it's great to see and I remember when, when I was their age getting ready for summer camps with my brothers, my friends and it just brings back that little bit of excitement I was just saying I'd actually love to be that age again, not care in the world, just in, enjoying the sun and enjoying the football. Now you've come a long way since suppose, your childhood, you have now can say you've played in three different countries, in America obviously here in the Women's League and in England, so you're well experienced at this stage even at 26 years of age. Yeah, obviously um, played in the National League for a long time, done a short stint in, in college in America and most recently in the WSL, so obviously I've been, enjoyed my career to date and, and looking forward to seeing what's next. Yeah, you made the jump over to the WSL last January, obviously from playing here at Wexford for a couple of years. How did you find the jump from going from to the professional game? What was kind of the biggest things that stood out to you? It was a great experience, but I suppose the biggest thing would be the, the speed and the, the intensity of the game would be that, that little bit higher than what I was used to in the Women's National League. Obviously coming up against players that have been playing professional football for, for a few years, um, but it was a great experience. It, it was great to learn and, and to grow for the last year and a half. You're with Brighton since January last year. Obviously, you've just been recently released, but they had a solid enough season finishing sixth mid-table. Overall, how would you kind of summarise the season, both from a team and individual point of view? Yeah, no, we, we had a great season. I suppose it was a tale of two halves. Um, I think the first half of the season, we were struggling a little bit, um, but second half, we, we got a few wins on the bounce and we ended up finishing sixth, which was fantastic. It was the highest that the club has ever finished in the Women's Super League. Um, so that was a great achievement and it was a great team and a great group to be involved in. Um, definitely learned a lot and, and some, some fond memories from, from a short spell as well. You obviously had a lot of injury setbacks early stages of your career, I think three crucial knee injuries. I know that from my own teammates and my own families how tough it can be the road to recovery. So the fact that you made it to the top, does that make you kind of appreciate and enjoy the game a bit more now? Um, yeah, definitely. I suppose I spent so long on, on the sidelines with that and missed out on, on so much and um, kind of didn't know where I would get to after it. So I suppose it's great to be back on the pitch um, injury free and, and just enjoying football and, and kind of getting new experiences and, and just enjoying it again, I suppose. Just finally then from the Ireland point of view, obviously the memories and emotions are probably still raw from failing to make the playoffs for the Euros. The draw for the next World Cup has been made. It's a tough draw with Sweden and Finland. We're both going to be at that finals and obviously Slovakia, who you know from a previous campaign, and Georgia. So do you feel that you bit by bit you have been growing the last while and this is finally the of the year you can make that progress? Yeah, obviously there's still that disappointment that we missed out on, on the playoffs, as you said. Um, but as you said, we, we've got the group, so we know what we're up against. And, and the focus has been swiftly shifted towards that. Um, preparations have started. Um, it's going to be a difficult group. Um, obviously, the Sweden and, and Finland are, are delighted to be in the Euros. And I suppose they'll be trying not to look too forward to that. But for us, it's about just continuing to grow. I think we've grown um, game by game. And even the last two international friendlies we, we played against Denmark and, and Belgium, you could see the growth within those two games. So we're looking to do the same in the double header against Iceland coming up now and then bring that form um, into September as the start of the qualifiers. Yeah, fingers crossed you will be in Australia and New Zealand in 2023. Rihanna, thanks very much for your time. Thank you.